Good morning, welcome to the Daily Office, and thanks for joining me. This is morning prayer for Palm Sunday, April the 14th. The scripture for this service, Psalms 24 and 29, and Zechariah chapter 9, verses 9 through 12. As you may have uh, realized, I've been absent for the last couple of weeks. I had a terrible cold that developed into uh, bronchitis, and that developed into a cough that was so severe that I couldn't even talk. So uh, I'm much better now, but I'm still getting over the remnants of that cold, so please pardon uh, my voice. Now join me in singing the first verse of All Glory, Laud, and Honor. All glory, Lord, and honor to you, Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children made sweet hosannas ring. Thou art the King of Israel, thou David's royal son, who in the Lord's name comest, the King and Blessed One. All glory, Lord, and honor to the Redeemer King, to whom the lips of children made sweet hosannas ring. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. The world, the world, earth is yours and all that is in it, the world and all that dwell therein. Psalms 24 and 29, and please recite them with me. The earth is yours and all that is in it, the world and all that dwell therein. For you have founded it on the seas and established it on the floods. And who shall ascend your holy hill, and who shall stand in your holy place? Those that have clean hands and pure hearts, who have not lifted their souls into vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. They shall receive your blessings and righteousness from you, the God of their salvation. This is the generation that seeks your face, O God of Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Lift your heads, O you gates, lift them higher, you everlasting doors, and your glorious ruler shall come in. And who is this glorious ruler? God the Most High, strong and mighty. God the Most High, mighty in battle. Lift your heads, O you gates, lift them higher, you everlasting doors, and your glorious ruler shall come in. Who is this glorious ruler? God the Most High of hosts, our God is our glorious ruler. Give God Most High, O you mighty people, Give God most high glory and strength. Give the glory due God's name and worship God in the beauty of holiness. Your voice is upon the waters, O God of glory. You thunder, you are upon many waters. Your voice is powerful. Your voice is full of majesty. Your voice breaks the cedars. You break the cedars of Lebanon. You make them skip like a calf, Lebanon and Syrian, like a young unicorn. Your voice divides the flames of fire. Your voice shakes the wilderness. You shake the wilderness of Kadesh. Your voice makes the calves be born and discover the forests. And in your temple, everyone speaks of your glory. You sit upon the flood. You sit as ruler forever. You give strength to your people and you bless your people with peace. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. The earth is yours and all that is in it, the world and all that dwell therein. A reading of the prophet Zechariah, chapter 9, beginning at verse 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter Zion! Shout aloud, O daughter Jerusalem. Lo, your king comes to you. Triumphant and victorious is he. Humble, riding on a donkey. On a colt, the foal of a donkey. He will cut off the chariot from Ephraim and the war horse from Jerusalem. And the battle bow shall be cut off. 
and he shall command peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. As for you also, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I will set your prisoners free from the waterless pit. Return to your stronghold, O prisoners of hope. Today I declare that I will restore to you double. Here ends the lesson. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Assist us mercifully with your help, O God, of our salvation, that we may enter with joy upon the contemplation of those mighty acts whereby you have given us life and immortality. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And may Almighty God shine his face upon us, be merciful to us and bless us, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen.